Official. Hello YouTube, this is Beedrew1111, gamertag Beedrew93, and today's video is going to be about a new game by Motiga, a games developer company, for mainly for PC games I, uh, I, um, I'm getting the, uh, the impression of, but they're, they're now making a game in spirit of this Windows 10 cross-platform with Xbox One cross-gaming um, experience. They're making a new game called Gigantic. Now I'm like I only saw that I saw the trailer when um, Phil Spencer stood up um, at GDC um, only the other day, and um, he brought on the, the the guy from Motiga to represent, uh, you know, do a presentation on Gigantic, and I knew straight away that something really really good was to be of this game. Um, I was really interested from the off. I loved the artwork. I loved the colours. I loved I loved the whole idea behind it. And um, and it really really um, intrigued me enough that I've um, I've gone on the official website um, to like look at all the characters, look at what the game entails. I've seen videos. I will put a link in the description for um, a video that probably best suits um, um, best suits. It's well, it's, it's for the, it's the game um, Gigantic. But this video I'm gonna put up basically just shows in a quite quick, snippy way um, how, well, what the game mechanics, like what it entails. But to break it down for you, because the point of this video is I'm trying to, I want to just break it down um, just for people who might have just seen a bit of gameplay footage and don't know exactly what it's what it is exactly. Because um, to be fair, on that front they haven't really been very detailed. They've shown plenty of gameplay footage, but they haven't left an, unless you go and do your own reading. I at least couldn't find any video. On on YouTube that can break it down so that's what this is about um, it's a team action game where heroes battle alongside a massive guardian in a fight for supremacy um, join the fight and be one of the first to try gi gigantic right that's on the website but like it says a team action game where heroes battle alongside a massive guardian and fight for supremacy now that from the gameplay is like absolutely apparent and it looks fantastic it's five on five uh, and it's five on five, um, five v five. Sorry, each person can pick a character of their choice. I'll get to what the characters. Um, I'll get to the characters in a minute. But each character has its own strengths, has its own fighting style. You can be a gunner, you can be an archer, a, a scout. Um, you can be. Um, 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 you can use magic. You can be um, uh, stealthy. You can be heavy duty with like big um, heavy armory. But there's. So there's a load of different choice and it, it's down to the individual because what I like about this is you see so many of the same things coming out. Modern shooters, future shooters, shooters in general, arena style gameplay, um, where um, which I love by the way, don't get me wrong, but this is nice to see something different just to change it up. So say I'm I've had enough playing, like, you know, four on four arena style gameplay, Halo 5 multiplayer, and I just want to delve into some fun, colourful mad gameplay that is gigantic. Uh, it's just a perfect mix. Frankly, I'm really, really looking forward to this game. It looks to be one of the better titles of this year and it'll cross, pla it'll cross play with PC gamers as well. So I'm very, very excited to like play with PC gamers because it'll show, because maybe for once we can actually show that we are um, gamers, not, not inferior to PC. And uh, this looks a fun way of exploring that. Um, your guardian is basically this gigantic, hence the name, uh, creature that is on your side, and he slash she, I don't know what the gender is, <laughs> fights the other guardian in an open battle while you, five on five, are on the ground defeating one another, and apparently there's a point in the matches where a guardian will take, uh, will like def hurt the other guardian enough to b bring it down, and you have to try and kill the other guardian. The basics so the bit, the bit, just to break it down simply, um, before I go into the details of like the the classes and the characters you can play as, the basics of it is it's five v five on the floor combat with multiple different choice of characters with different strengths, different weaknesses, different abilities, and you, the job is for you to kill the other team's guardian before they kill yours. It's an and and it just looks incredible. The colours, the maps, the textures. It's a totally different game to what we've seen, what I've never seen anything like it and I cannot wait to play it, it looks amazing. Now to get to the details, the gory details, unleash your power, I'm reading this from the official website now guys so this is official, unleash your power, the heading, a mystical bond connects you and four teammates to your guardian, a magical 
Bear mouth, bear moth, too powerful for a single mortal to defeat. Protect your guardian as your team charges across the battlefield, then see it crush your enemies underfoot. So basically, what I get from that is the more you protect your guardian, the more he'll do you favors. And while your guardian is up on top, like uh, it, you know, the more your team are winning and the more you protect your guardian, the more you're going to do damage, and you get obviously special powers from keeping your guardian alive, like a myth, like a magical bond, as I said. Tactics unleash your creativity. That's another heading now. Physics-based abilities let you invent new ways to amaze your friends and frustrate your enemies. The element of surprise is key as you use WASD controls. Um, to sprint, dodge, aim, destroy barriers, hurdle obstacles and leap forward from danger to safety. Obviously WASD controls is PC gaming but now it's come to Xbox it'll be, you know, there will be a controlling um, control figuration for the, con the console version but still <coughs> it's that at least you know already that there's heavy duty magic boom sort of people with the help of your guardian now you've got your stealth and tactical people and lastly we have fantastic Unleash your imagination as another heading, as the three main key components. Uh, the world of Gigantic is a world of mystery where airships soar over ancient ruins and fantasy empire is yours for the taking. Charge into battle and lead your guardian to victory. Gigantic rewards the daring, the clever and the swift. So, already it's, it's more and more clear that whatever style of gameplay you choose whether you want to be whether you want to be magical and, and hone the powers from your guardian or tactical be stealthy be on the ground be nimble or if you want to be heavy duty daring clever and strategic on the ground there is a character for everybody um, and the hero gallery I'm going to go through them individually first we have a character called Ailing young warrior Ailing carries her father's sword and her father's ghost into battle the next one, Zenobia, curses and control. Zenobia takes delight in frustrating foes and her dark magic feeds off the anger and pain. Number three, Trip, speed and stealth. Who is Trip, the empire's most notorious assassin or the living incarnation of lightning? Number four, Lord Canossus. Um, offensive powerhouse descended from the conquering horde. Lord Knossos wants to return it to his tribe to the glories of old. He looks a beast, by the way. He's like a bull with a massive sword. Um, number five, Imani, sneaky sniper. If you can't find Imani, you're losing the battle. If you're in her crossbow sights, you've already lost. That look, that's amazing. I'll probably play as her. I like scouts. Uh, Roland at number. Oh, I, I forgot what number I'm on, but I'll just keep going. Roland. Bounty Hunter. Roland's arsenal of guns and gadgets makes him the inevitable end to a fugitive's fight. Now this guy looks quite slim, lean, he's got a rifle in one hand, a pistol in the other, he's obviously very good with his weaponry, like, hand, like gun fighting. This one I really like as well, he look, it's a fox, it looks like a fox with a cross with a bow and arrow. His name's Voden. Mobility and trickery. When the forest lord Voden goes on a wild hunt, he makes his enemies prey. I think. All right, um, Vasadi, um, Vadasi, sorry, divine healer. As Vadasi floats above the fray, her spirit orbs restore the wounded and rebuke the unworthy. Um, Taito, the swift, reflect reflexes and finesse. A sure buckler with a feral sidekick. Taito makes an exit wound, then makes an exit. This is like an owl-looking person with a long, like, fancy sword. That looks awesome. Um, right. The Margrave, unstoppable tank. He grafted and he grafted a dying demon's hand to replace the one he lost. Uh, then strode forward, eager to the next battle. Now that character looks awesome. Please, guys, go check out the gigantic website and look at all these characters. The the the, the colours, the t the designs are beautiful. Right, another one. Uncle Sven. Chemistry and chaos. When it comes to improvisional battlefield alchemy, Uncle Sven has the perfect solution. Obviously an alchemist with loads of grenades and stuff. Charnock. <coughs> Draconic sorcerer. A regal exterior hides the fire inside until you spark his temper and it erupts with a destructive force. You'll make it. Oh, HK-206. Armed and armoured. A, ca a high calibre asset from House... Tesserus HK206 has a tendency to go ballistic. 
uh, uh, the next one, Mozo, Mischievous Magician. Mozo amasses a collection of magic wands, sometimes without the player owner's consent. Um, obviously a magical creature, looks very interesting. Looks a bit like Pikachu, only purple. <laughs> um, another one, Griselma, Wise Summoner. Griselma is here one moment, gone the next, but beasts and traps m remain in her wake. Obviously another magical creature, like can teleport by the sounds of things. Another one, Wu, a giant frog. Martial arts, every one of, Wu of, every one of Wu's limbs is deadly weapon, including his tongue. Um, right, and that's it. We, we're back to the beginning with Aisling, the young warrior who carries her father's sword and her father's ghost. Now, I don't know how many there were there. I lost count, but already... Like, there is a lot of characters to choose from, and, and I'm assuming they're all available. <laughs> um, maybe you have to unlock a few of them, but still, like, a lot of choice, and a lot of, like I said, choice. A lot of different, every, you know, everyone's got their preference in terms of gaming, everyone has their different fighting style, and whereas, like, other games have tried to do this, like, allowed you to choose, like, a weapon, and a t this is wicked. This is, like, a whole character with a whole whole different fighting style, a whole different attribute, like from the ground up, like it, like from different weapon to different body type to different, like if you go on the website, I'll also put the website in the description, take a look at the artwork on all these characters, they all look so different and so cool. Right, on to the Guardians. A smart, responsive and lethal. Your Guardian is the biggest ally you'll ever have. With your team's help, the Guardian drives back your enemies, destroying the reshaping, reshaping, <laughs> reshaping? The, and reshaping the battlefield as it goes. But your enemy have Guardians too. Basically, in a game, guys, the ultimate objective is to work together to overpower the enemy guardian, then strike its heart when you have the chance. And beware, each guardian has its own attacks and tactics, everything from impaling tail spikes to destructive tornadoes. Um, creatures. Uh, control the battleground. As, you're, as you battle, you can summon creatures to protect key strategic points of the map for your team and each creature you summon makes your makes them your massive guardian grow stronger summon the right ally the creatures you summon do more than just attack your enemies you can choose creatures that heal your team boost your damage spot hidden enemies or let you re resurrect closer to the action Right, that's about it guys, um, just to break it down that little bit more again, from gameplay, from what I've seen, it's basically a domination kind of gig, like, like you have played on like a Call of Duty, there's multiple points in the map where you and your team have to control it and take over it, and with, uh, the more of the map you control and take over, the more your guardian presses forward to eventually killing the enemy's garden. A guardian but they're doing the same thing to you so it's constant I, I can imagine just from what I've seen that a game can last up to 20 minutes or more maybe longer I don't know but it, it, it's definitely not just a five minute team deathmatch who can kill each other the most in a small amount of time it's a very strategy based game and lots of characters lots of choice and generally just it looks it looks brilliant it looks amazing I'm very interested cannot wait to get hands on with it thank you for listening that's all i've got for you i hope this has helped you because end of the day i've been trying to find videos on the internet that isn't just gameplay i wanted to hear some breakdowns there's been the odd interview from gdc but obviously the people being interviewed don't have all day to talk and they haven't been able to go in absolute thorough detail so i've gone on the website i've read what i've read i've brought it forward and basically everything i've just said is what we are to expect from the, guard, uh, the gigantic game and I for one am very excited and cannot wait to play. So that's all I got for you guys, this is one of my more anticipated game types, I'm looking forward to playing it with other with, window, with Windows 10, the cross, um, cross um, platform with PC gaming and the artwork looks beautiful and I can't wait for this. So uh, thank you for listening guys, hope, uh, hope you enjoyed my breakdown, hopefully it was helpful and uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching my content. I appreciate it. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.